Hey, hold on. Uh, that ain't no house cat. Oh. In Acadia Parish? No, 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 no. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. Martin County, Kentucky. Probably the same one from Acadia Parish. Yeah, probably the same oh, one. Oh, they ain't the same one, though. That's a different photograph, fair boy. Yep. Boy, that's a Black Panther. Yeah, that's a garbage bag. That don't even look like an animal. <laughs> it is. How does that not look like an animal? Yeah. Goblin said that's a garbage bag. Look at that majestic Black Panther. I'm with Goblin on yeah. this one. Nothing about that looks like the shape of any animal I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were rolling. Nah. There's no reason to. There is reason. Black Panthers don't exist. I'm going to fight you, sir. You're going to fight Black you, Jaguars exist in zoos and other places, but in the wild, no thank you. Yeah, they Oh, wild. boy, here we, wild. Wild. They wild. here we go. Wild. Here we go. Amazon jungle. Oh, well. As soon as I get there, I'll report back. Welcome back to the well, call we're room. Back, boy. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen. I Galvin? Thought, I thought we was almost through. Are we? I don't know. We may be. Well, Galvin, I was going to give you the privilege of opening the show with a joke. What you got for us today? Everybody seems to love this part right. of the deal. One line. Now. So, what dad joke you got for us today? Bro? What, uh, if you're American, go in, and when you go in the bathroom, and an American when you come out of the bathroom, what are you in the bathroom? Oh, I know this one. European. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> Sir, I will never be a European. Yeah. Hey, big shout out to our European fans. I love yeah. you guys. I'm an American. European, sir. Boys. We're all native Europeans. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's right. I'm from. Uh, Where do you think we came from? Uh, okay. I'm from England. Royalty, by the way. Oh, here we go. I looked it up. Yep. Look up King Godwinson. You looked it up. King Godwinson. He's, he's royalty, he said. I'm royalty, I think. So that's I don't know how that works. Though. European. That's what you got for us today. Yeah. European. Yeah. I got one that was emailed in. What's that? You want to try it? Yeah. Brian, good luck. So far, they they haven't liked the emailed in ones. Brian said uh, tonight that they're having Himalayan rabbit stew for dinner. Himalayan mm. rabbit stew. Is that the joke? They found him Himalayan in the road. They found him <laughs> a laying in the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. oh. I, I like that one. Up. I kind of messed oh, up. Oh, we found oh, Roadkill, boys. I like that one. Hey, Roadkill, yeah. I was right. Yeah, Where'd you get the bad. rabbit? Found him in the, found him a laying in the, in the street. Found him a laying yeah. in the right. street. I like that. Brian. I'd like work, it. Brian. Brian, I mean. that is... That's better than our Frank the Tank and John the Baptist joke or whatever. John the Baptist one was funny. Yeah. No. That's like I'm talking that about one. animals. I'd that. love to. You got that one. Huh? When's the last time you had an alligator? I'd love to cook some alligator tonight. Well, go get it. I don't understand. I ain't, I ain't I don't. got nothing but a crock pot. <laughs> He ain't got no crock pot, boys. Boy, I fell uh, right into that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, yeah. I, like I, it. I, I knew that was coming. Hey, I didn't need I it. I knew yeah, that was a coming. A fan sent that in. Yeah. That's I good. knew that was coming. You did? Yeah. Oh, I was. Uh, I had, when he said alligator, I was thinking, well, I was fixing to tell him that, hey, <laughs> alligator's overrated. It's got to be nah, in the crock pot. got to be fresh. Uh, no. Alligator's overrated, period. No, oh, you being serious now? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I agree. Now. I agree with that sentiment. Now, well, I mean, it's I, not. I don't. I don't see how that caught on. Look, I okay. I got one in Florida, and they skinned it and cooked it that night. It was the most tenderest. It's not nothing like what you get around here. Well, because all I'm you saying got to is, do it, okay, cook him fresh, and he's good. Well, I just the flavor is no. It's just chewy chicken. Yeah. No, it ain't chewy. Well, not, not where when you it's have. done right. I don't mind oh, like alligator yeah. bites. Oh no. no, no. Trust me when I tell you. Yeah, it's chewy chicken. <laughs> or, or worse. Uh, oh, you don't like, like a chicken. chicken no. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to hear it because hey, Stone <laughs> cooked a uh, uh, tenderloin the other day for Jace. A couple of them. Okay, and like he cooked it and it was it was done. Okay. At eleven thirty, mm-hmm. so he wrapped it in the pan, okay, with tin foil, and put the pan. Jace was going to pick it up later, okay, and he put it in the oven, just on, with just on low warm. <clears throat> now that's a meal. Well, nobody claimed alligator was better than. Well, cow. no, no, no. Well, hey, I'm just saying, that's the best he's ever cooked. You didn't even have to. You didn't even have to chew it. 
Yeah, it's tender. When you no, 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 look. Hey. Yeah, I tried it to, is. It's tender. No, no, I tried to pick oh, it, it up. Oh, it is. I tried to pick it up. Okay, I picked up a big piece, and all ended up with what little bit of, was stuck in the fork. The rest of it just fell off because it was too tender. Too I had tender. to put that fork under there and then put it on my plate. Too tender. I love it. No, that's what, that's what the feel was. Say, too tender. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That was a fine. Oh, that was so oh, well, I like fine. whenever we're talking about the he merits. He just said alligator was terrible. Alligator. And he told me how good well, it was. Hey, alligator is terrible. Wait, did you eat but alligator? Then you just no, told I, me how. I've ate it. Okay, no, but this I've, was tenderloin that you're I've, talking about. Yeah. yeah, he's talking about beef tenderloin. Yeah, beef tenderloin. Yeah, we, I thought we oh, was talking about alligator. Oh, smokes. Okay. Okay. But nobody compared alligator to beef. No. Well, I'm just saying, hey, no, I don't compare alligator to anything. <laughs> hey, go ahead and, hey. If, Maybe that if, Himalayan you know, if rabbit. If you're <laughs> fond of it, great, okay. <laughs> Me, personally, you know, throw it to the dogs, and the dog's going to turn their nose up at it. That's like his boy. You know? when, right. I, when I worked at Riverwood, he was a big turkey hunter. He was telling me, them turkeys, they ain't, they ain't wild turkeys, they ain't no good. Oh. I looked at him. I said, boy, wrong answer. you can't cook. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> wrong answer. He says chicken ain't no good when he eats it on his own. Who did? When he, that guy. That, that oh, turkey ain't yeah. Good. No, that wild yeah. turkey is fantastic. It is. I'm ready for Jordan to hit the road and get to hunt those right. things again. I, I'm going to taxi. I went turkey hunting. <laughs> Just a little bit. I went turkey work. hunting one time, and they was all fired up over that turkey I killed. I didn't know how big it was because I don't turkey hunt. That's during the crappie spawn. But anyway, <laughs> they got some marabou on the chest of them turkeys they said you need to get fired up i said i am i said you know what you can do with a little chartreuse on that right there <laughs> <laughs> you be catching you some crappies boy he's talking about he's talking about spurs and beards and galvin just looking at feathers yeah they but told me the there's claws on That's it. all he was Big worried time, about baby his claws on it they said was long <laughs> hey now my uncle done that he you know out of squirrel hide deer hide Duck feathers, you know, mm. anything that wild he killed. And his tackle box was impressive when he'd opened it. Oh, yeah. And, hey, it would, they would eat it up. Nothing yeah. went to waste. That marabou. Hey, I, I can't can believe where all that marabou come from. That, that was awesome. That's a bunch of feathers. Bring me some marabou when you kill a turkey. Right. I ain't going turkey hunting. He ain't going. I mean, I may go to Texas. He's scared of them big old... He ain't uh, done it. <laughs> he's scared of them big old big-footed things that I'm kick people and whoop people. Oh, them ostriches? ostriches? <laughs> no, that ostrich... I, I, no, I, scared of an ostrich is a strong statement. Uh, healthy respect. Healthy, well, respect. Yeah. healthy respect. Healthy respect is oh, a hey, very true the, statement. I was just going to say, have you seen them feet on them suckers? Hey, they got some Ooh, claws on I'll them. I'll tell you something. Well, he opens his mouth at you and sticks that tongue out hissing. <sighs> yeah. I don't need to see you. You got them wings out? That's good enough. Because <laughs> he's taller than me. And I'm 6'4". So he, he's a big you know, boy. But I'm just saying. No, I just don't. Turkey hunting is one of them things, kind of like Godwin said, it's right when the best fishing is going on. Mm -hmm. And I love to fish. And and so if I turkey hunt, it's because. I fish. I ain't much on turkey hunting. Ain't I nothing else to, to do. do. Yeah. Wind blowing too hard. <laughs> yeah. But that makes turkey hunting hard. So Because then yeah. you can't hear nothing. You know, so it's just one. That, but turkey, it's fun. Just Louisiana sucks for turkey hunting. You got to drive eight hours from here to get into pretty good turkey hunt. The turkeys here, they're wild. The, the, they're There's survive. not many up. They're hey, survivors. Everything is wilder in Louisiana. It yeah. is. I've noticed that. That's because they get hunted 12 months out the year. Oh, no, no. And yeah. and back in 1942, old boy and his brother were just putting a, yeah. just taxing everything. And if a fish a fish here knows, too, if he opens his mouth, he's going to get the sides knocked off of him. So, I mean, they even scared to eat. They're like, uh, catch and release ain't, ain't big here. Everything getting wilder. <laughs> it really is. For good reason. Inflation, man. Inflation. Um, <laughs> tax, taxation, boys, without representation. <laughs> <laughs> how, do we, how do we do this podcast? How do we get here? I don't know. Right. It's just that's why I said start. We'll see where we end just, up. Just start here we right here we go. Along. Oh my goodness gracious! So I, before we got on here, you he was telling me about your new favorite TV show. Yep, I'd that, like our fans to know what your new favorite TV show. That would be <clears throat> that would be Steve Harvey. Like he had what uh, Celebrity uh, Jeopardy. 
Family Feud. Yeah, Family Feud. Yeah, he was that. He one. had that, and he was always the last on that. Okay, but now there, there's Judge Steve Harvey. <laughs> Judge Steve, I haven't heard oh, of him. No, no, no. Look, him. Hey. I think it comes on about three in the afternoon. So the rest yeah. of the Oh, it comes on at night. I don't remember. Oh, no, he's anyway, asleep. Thank you. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's nap time like yesterday. He's, he's a uh, no nonsense, common sense judge. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so don't come in this court and, and, and be you know, babbling nonsense. Don't come blowing smoke. Yeah, don't come blowing smoke because Steve Harvey is the best in the world. So, hey, he recognized that right quick. Hey, he throw you out of his courtroom. But no, we just wa- we just walked. Get out of the he court, brought right. it up. It was hilarious. Yeah, we what? watched the clip before yeah. you got here. It was funny. Yeah. Steve he's, Harvey's one. Uh, oh, he's oh, no. he's a gem. Oh yeah, he's a gem he's, of society. He's very quick on his feet. Okay, and the boy grew up poor. Okay, and made it you know made it in the in the comedian world big time. Okay. And in the acting and everything else. And he's a fan of yours. Oh, no, and I'm a big fan of his. That's <laughs> what's so funny. <laughs> oh, it does come. That's a prime time show. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that's the, Hey, that's his best piece of work by far right now, in my humble opinion. There's five episodes. Well, I know, but, hey, I've watched them, and they are hilarious, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. And, and hey, he, he's at his best because with this 19-year-old kid that was, he brought his mom and dad into court and was, they was trying to sue him for ten thousand dollars. They were trying to sue their own kid yeah, uh-huh. for kitchen damage. He okay? blew up their kitchen. He 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 blew up when he cooked. He blows things up and it went viral. That's how he made like something like forty four thousand dollars. Well, when Judge Harvey is getting ready to give his ruling, he said, uh, "Young man, how old are you?" He said, "19." He said, "Well, right now," he said, "Here's the deal." Uh, Yo, I rule it for your mom and dad. You'll pay them a thousand a month unless, yo, how much money have you got? And the kid says, Well, I've got 44, 44. And 40, uh, you know, Steve Hart said, 44 what? And he said, 44K. He said, Wait a minute. Ruling has been changed. <laughs> he said, The ruling has been changed. He said, You're, You owe your parents $10,000 and you will pay it immediately after this court is. Done. Slam the gavel and said, "Hey, and, and get, said, get old, out of here. And get out of here. Okay, said, get out of here. Yeah, and walked off. That's the one we watched <laughs> a while ago. It was, it was funny. It was funny. You know, but hey, Wonderful. but it, it's one of his best, best deals. So what on. you're telling me, Si, is Steve Harvey proves there's still common sense in this world. Oh yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can appreciate probably the only yeah. one that actually. <laughs> well, does. no, no, it may be only one on television anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to men's underwear, Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear is the full package hammock deal. Hammock pouch. What do you want to rest in? A hammock. What do you want your stuff to rest in? A hammock. Tell them about it, Martin. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Look, hey, I'm with you. When you're wearing Tommy John's hammock pouch underwear, you're that much more comfortable so you can do everything better. You can duck hunt better. You can fish better. You can watch TV better. It doesn't matter. You just feel good. With dozens of comfort innovations, once you've tried Tommy John underwear, you're never going to go back. Innovations like an air mesh interior hammock and moisture wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands. Plus, the legs never ride up, and Tommy John underwear comes with a non-rolling waistband for the perfect fit. If I can't roll that waistband down, neither can Nobody you, trust can. me. So that's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Fanatics that call Tommy John's hammock pouch one of life's greatest invention. With over 17 million pairs sold, men across America love their Tommy John underwear. Shipping and returns are free because every pair is backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free, guarantee. Right now, you can get 20% off your first order at tommyjohn.com slash Duck. duck go to tommyjohn.com slash duck <laughs> today for 20 percent off tommyjohn.com slash duck see site for details look we don't have fans we have fanatic boys where you want right, to go here's where we're gonna go all right go. we're gonna go and and it's gonna be appreciation Day on the podcast. Who are we appreciating? Okay. Well, thank you. Well, I'll tell you why I brought this up. Policeman. I was in in uh, Nashville about three weeks ago, 
Yeah. Uh, pipeline people took me up there and they took me to the Grand Ole Opry and a bunch of other stuff to uh, just say thank you for being their goodwill ambassador. So, okay, so when I was doing that, I was staying at a uh, plantation in Franklin, Tennessee, okay, for three days. And I looked up on the shelf and there's a little book that says, okay, uh, invitation for dinner with a perfect stranger was the title of the book, and it's about that thick. Well, in the next two hours, I read it from, you know, first page all the way through. And the perfect stranger was Jesus. Wow. Okay. So it was pretty cool, and it was a very well-written book. Hmm. And then, come back down here, and my buddy, Lester, with uh, AmericanScroll.com, he sent me a book by a by a good friend of his, that he his good friend wrote the book. He's a neurosurgeon, brain surgeon, brain. This man's you know he's he smarter than us. He operates on people's brain. But anyway, the reason I said appreciation, we don't uh, appreciate the doctors and the nurses and the people that take care of the human race on a daily basis. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, me a bottle of water. we don't we don't appreciate them enough, and, and we don't ever tell them thank you enough for actually taking care of us. And no, none of us are very appreciative to it when they do take care of us, because they're either always poking us, giving us a shot, or doing something <laughs> yeah. that we dislike. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. but but that I goes with the territory, and I had not realized till I read that book. How would you like a job where you go to work every day? And all you do is people get referred to you by other doctors, and when they refer them to you, they're on their way out. Yeah. So this yeah. guy has to deal with death on a daily basis. Yeah, because you don't end up in the neurosurgeon's yeah. office because everything's all right. Yeah. <laughs> So in this room, and this doctor, okay, Dr. Warren, he's having uh, trouble, okay, with God and all this stuff that he has to go through on a daily basis. Yeah. He has a lot of doubt. He has a lot of uh, bad times, let's say, okay. Yeah. So it was a it was a very well written book and a very, you know, I probably cried ten times while I was reading it. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you get to know these are real people. Okay, this is not a fiction book. Yeah, this is real life in real situations, and some of the most amazing people I read about. One woman. Okay. She's been trying, her and her husband are young. They're in their 40s, okay. They finally get, she gets pregnant, and then she starts having headaches and actually passes out and then gets referred to Dr. Warren. And, of course, she's got a malignant tumor in her head that he has to operate on. And they're going through all the uh, therapeutic <clears throat> stuff that they can do to help her survive. And one of them is, okay, you will probably have to you'll probably have to do a therapeutic abortion. Oh. And hmm. she said, wrong answer, Doc. I'm not killing my child. I'm not killing my little baby girl. So she carries the young lady to full term, gives birth to her daughter, okay, dies two months later, okay. So it's just mm. You know, when I, I, I read these last two books, God is impeccable with timing. Okay, because I'm getting older. And death is looming, okay, any time now. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's just the that's just a fact. Yeah. Okay. So it's these things and I, I never realized all the decisions that the uh, messed up human race has to deal with on a daily basis okay yeah because it doesn't affect you 
right? I mean, you're not involved. Yeah, in it. out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Right. So you don't, you don't think, realize. You don't even think about it. Yeah. Until it falls on yep. your doorstep. No, no. Yeah. And then See? you're like, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Because that was just one of the things I said. Wait a minute. You know, I always, you know, the Bible says this. Talking about uh, Jesus told his apostles, said, told doubting Thomas, he said, because you've seen me, you believe. Blessed is the one that has not seen me, and he still believes. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's one of the things about, you know, always, always my prayers, you know, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. When I go, go on, fell off, fall off the log on the side of doubt, that's when I need you to, hey, pull me back over and help me. Help me with my unbelief. Yeah. yeah. Hook that winch cable back up. Yeah, but. yeah. Pull me back up where and put me where I need to be. Yeah. You know, but I just looked at these these people that was in the book, okay, that, you know, they met stuff head on and dealt with it in just the most un, uh, extraordinary. Yeah. It wasn't the word. It's, 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 uh, it's mind-boggling, okay, yeah. that they keep going because the one, that other one that broke me down, the young man was named Samuel. He had it, okay. He's dying. And here's what he did the night before his surgery. He called his family together, his wife and his kid, and he said, hey, if this doesn't go well with me and my quality of life is no good, he said, y'all have got to suck it up and let me go. Send me on. Yeah, send me on. Let him take me Let him, let him take me home. Mm-hmm. You know, and even saying that right now, I just look and, yeah. You know, and that's what happened. And they did. That's good. a tough yeah, well, situation. Good for them. No, no. Yeah, and look, good then they them. said, okay, we want to have a meeting with you, Doc. And Doc was going to think, well, okay, they're fixing to. You know, blast me for killing their husband because yeah. he actually died on the operating table. Yeah. You know, so it was one of the things, and they said, hey, no, you know, wrong answer. <clears throat> we thank you for the care you gave our, our father and my husband while he was under your care. It couldn't have been any better. You've done the best you could do. Yeah, he probably don't hear that a whole lot. Oh, no, he don't. It's always, <laughs> it's always he's the one that's there, and when somebody's hurting, Especially when it's over a loss of someone close to them, mm-hmm. they lash out. Yeah, he's probably walked in that room one too oh, yeah. many times yeah. of saying, um, you know, So I just, my hat's off to you there, Dr. Warren. There you with go. your lifestyle, with what you have to go through every day of your life, and how well you're holding up, my man, we all doubt. And you never, like I said, yeah. my prayer for you is hey, help, like I ask God to help me all the time with my unbelief. Yeah, that's my prayer for you, my man. Yeah. Yeah. God help him with his own belief when he needs a, you know. But I like I like the uh, painting, footprints in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. When I don't you know notice ever, when you when you yeah. notice there was one. Foot. Yeah, it wasn't a one one set of foot. You know where were you? Yeah. And he said, "I got you in my arms. Them are my footprints." Yeah. I was told. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God says, "Hey, I got you in my arms. Them are my footprints, son." Yeah. That you're looking at in the sand. Yeah. That's well, that's awesome. my wish for you, Doc. May God always carry you through what you have to do on a daily basis, my man. Amen. And that goes for all of our all our nurses out there. and doctors, nurses, doctors, anybody that's on that front yep. line of all that mess. Look, it's been a rough year, rough. Well, I guess actually two years now, two two and a half years, however yeah. long it's been. It's kind Lifetime. of a time. Yeah, it's kind of a time warp, but especially oh, right. this and. Y'all do see us at our worst. You very that. rarely see us at our best. And uh, you do it with a smile on your face, and, and you do it because you love other people. And we appreciate that. Uh, and if they're just a family member of yours, let them know that you appreciate them and that we do too. So Appreciation uh, Day on the podcast. Yeah, hey, we used to have Teacher Appreciation like Day where we gave teachers like gifts yeah. and stuff, so we might as well do it for everybody. Well, I think so. I don't they know who they don't right. get enough. Another one, another one that always comes to my mind is, okay, they do a thankless job too, and that's their men in blue. Hey, Amen. Men and yep. women in blue. Blue, red, yeah, green, they whatever to. color our they decide. Firefighters, our firefighters, our cops. Yep. Okay. That you know they put their life on the line every day for us, and 
during the Duck Dynasty show, we had to ride along with the police, and I always I asked some real hard questions to one of the persons I was riding with. And he said, y'all trying to set me up? I said, no. I said, this, look, this is just stuff that I wanted to know. I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. You know, you deal with, I said, how do I put this in a nice way? You deal with your deal. You deal with the bad side of society, so to speak. He said, "Oh, that's not true." He said, "Most of my day is spent helping a citizen." Yeah. He said, "Most of the time." He said, "Now, do every once in a while I run up on something bad? Yeah, I had to kill a guy once. You know, and all this. Mm. You know, that goes with being a, a policeman. Yeah. You know, but it just, you know, it shocked me." That most of his stuff was good stuff. Yeah, you just hear about the bad. Yeah, because all you ever see on the news yeah. is okay, yeah. you know, bad stuff. Yeah. You that's never hear about that. okay. That's, that's what good stuff sadly. don't sell. Oh. Yeah, yeah, good, well, good well, that's, stuff. Well, that's don't wrong. Sell. You know why? Because you're expected to do good stuff. Well, that's wrong, though. That's, that's what it, it is. is. Hey, it show is me all of life. That's right. Amen. Show me all of life. Show me the good stuff that the human being does to each other. Instead of just all the bad stuff we do to each other, crying uh-huh. out loud. Si, I That's, think I think your whole brand is built off of that right there. Well, no, no, I, the world it makes good. me mad. Though. I'm just saying. Yeah, it yeah. makes me mad. <laughs> okay, you know that's like our schools. Okay, you know, look, I don't mind you teaching the theory of evolution. It's a theory. Yeah. But hey, also give me the creation side. Okay, yeah. let me make my mind up what I want to believe in. Okay, I would do the same thing for you. Okay, a, I'll give you your choice. As, yeah. a, as a believer with a biology degree, I can tell you those lines get crowded and and, oh, yeah. and clouded oh, all, yeah. all through yeah. the time. Well, they do, they yeah. do, and it, it's it's wrong. Yeah, you know, it's like Paul Harvey. Okay, was famous for hey, now let me give you the rest of the story. I miss Paul Harvey. No, no, I do. It takes it takes me back. It takes me back to riding no, no, in a single cab pickup you, with my grandparents. Man. He didn't give you just his version. Yeah. He agreed. gave you the whole story. Single cab. Okay. And our media, yeah. you know, right our media should be ashamed of themselves. Y'all need to give the whole story. There you crying go. out loud. Tell them. Get it, Sal. Yeah. 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 Well, don't give me half the story. I want I want the complete story and the, and the truth. The whole so, truth. Yeah, the nothing whole truth but and the nothing truth. but the truth. Okay? Amen. Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Good day. What does this sound mean to you? Hey, what does it mean? I think it means, hey, you can only find it one place, boys. Where can you find the it? The pristine waters of New Zealand. What does it do for you? Okay, hey, look, I call them my first responders. Because they go straight okay, to where? look, I've got 360 joints in this old body of mine. It's old. And look. It's old, so they get a little wore out and a little inflammation in them every once in a while. How do you fix it? Hey, I take two of Omega XL, boys. Pop them, little swill, swill of tea, okay? <laughs> swill of tea. Hey, the sirens are on, and my first responders are gone to the scene of the inflammation, and hey, no more pain, boys. So you just get buy one bottle? It, hey, I get one bottle that I order. And the next one is free, Jack. The next one is free, Jack. Oh, Lord. Well, we all know Si's story with Omega XL. Look, he takes it because of the science. When we I young, love them. Our bodies produce SPMs. They're nature's way of keeping joints healthy. But as we age, we don't produce enough SPMs, which could be why Si was in so much pain. Omega XL can restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like you did when That's you right. were young. Well, move like when I was a young man. Can your supplement do that? Doubtful. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. That's it, Jack. Not hey, one, but two. Not one bottle, but two. And the second one is free. All right, well, look, so I started us Appreciation Day, so we're, we're going to keep throwing some out there of people that probably don't get thanked enough. Why hey, not? And I'll say one because I like to bend one. All right, what's All that? Right. When I dropped out when I dropped out of, of Louisiana Tech and before I got drafted, 
What was you going to be? A, a, a truck driver. Oh, I thought you was going to say a dancer. No, 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 no. I drive a truck. I went, hey, <laughs> and, but I was lucky. Look, I went in and applied for a job, and the guy said, okay, yeah, come back tomorrow. As a truck driver? As a truck driver. I remember driver. that episode of Duck Dynasty. I don't think you were cut out. Well, no, no, but anyway, I actually did, okay? And when I was walking out, there was an old man sitting there, and he said, young man. I said, yes, sir. He said, come in a minute. Yeah, and I said, what you got? He said, you don't want to work for this guy. Hmm. He lied to you flat out. <laughs> He said, you're not going to be home every night. <laughs> he said, he, he's, if his lips were moving, he's lying. He said, so don't don't come back tomorrow. He said, I'm telling you, I'm doing you a favor. You don't want to work for this guy. He's a, he's a liar. You know, you'll be on the road from now. And I didn't. So I didn't. So I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> He so, took that man. Hey, I can appreciate so, that, though. truck drivers are going to appreciate it. Hey, Amen. Look, the truck drivers are how our stuff makes it out of here to the rest of the world a oh, lot of yeah. times. And when I say truck driver, I'm talking about UPS, FedEx, our male, male men and women, yeah. all those drivers. Oh, yeah. And then some of them leave here by 18-wheeler to go to the big stores oh, that yeah. order a ton mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah, and on, on, so, the, on the road, 724. Yeah, because on they'll pick. On the road yeah. again. I mean, you know, like for us, if they pick up and they've got to go to Springfield, Missouri, and they pick up from us at 4 p.m. They're driving. To He's Springfield. spending the night in Springfield. Missouri. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you ain't been to Springfield, there ain't a whole lot to do outside Bass Pro Shops. And, and <laughs> That's where he was going. Anyway. And, huh? That's where he was going. That's where he was going. But I'm saying it's shut down at 11 o'clock at night oh, yeah. by the time yeah. he gets there. Yeah, that's so, right. All you got to know about truck drivers is the second it gets icy down here and we don't know anything about ice and roads and we just yeah. shut down as a society. They keep they rolling. The grocery stores are empty. Yeah. Oh, no, it's no, no. Gone. And they got to roll. Yeah, and they keep rolling. And yeah. they keep rolling. Yeah. yeah. But they know how to drive in the snow. Yeah. Them suckers. But the problem is we think we do rolling. and we get out there and get in their way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they ain't stopping as quick as we do. No. Nah. So, for those that drive trucks on our highways and byways, Amen. Thank you very much for what you do for us on a daily. On for many days away yep. from home. Away I from think home. our I think our buddy Mister Aldean called them asphalt cowboys. So could you imagine you if we didn't have trucks? No. Okay. What would we do? Jeez. I guess live off the land because you couldn't buy anything because nobody'd have anything. These train tracks would be a lot busier. Yeah, I, I guess so. Because the people driving the trains, they, nobody said nothing to them. They just gripe at them because they're holding up traffic. Yeah. Look, our office is a 20th of a mile Old from train. a train track. I get how aggravating a train can be. And then I look on there and I see coal and rock and concrete and everything oh, else oh, that it yeah. takes to live. And I'm like, you know what? I can wait five minutes. Ain't no big deal. You know, and, and but so all these people that, that you gripe about because you didn't leave in time and you're running yeah. late, they getting stuff for you to live on. So quit griping, let them do their job, move on down the road. Because you're late. We're coming to the, we coming to the part of the year around here where you about to get behind them big green tractors and orange tractors oh, and yeah. blue yeah. tractors. Let the farmers do their stinking yeah, and job. They go, hey, yeah. they're feeding us. Yeah. They feeding us, they taking care of it. And you know what I'm else hungry. they feeding? They feeding ducks, too. So let them do their mm. dadgum job. That's right. yep. If they got to get right. rice in the ground, let them get rice in the ground, by God. Yep. Don't don't go around them. Don't try to run them off the road. Just say, you know what? I should have left five minutes earlier, and I could have probably avoided this. You'd be like, Si, just be 15 minutes early to everything you go to. Well, just like yeah. this one. We were supposed to record this yesterday. It got to... 145, we're supposed to record it too. I said, Ain't no way Side knows about this because he'd have done been here. <laughs> he'd have been here. He'd have done been already 30 minutes late. Yeah. He's 15 no, no. minutes early. By the way, oh, no. how was your nap yesterday when we it were was good? No, no, because my wife later, I come in there, turn it on, Matt Dillon. You know, she said, By the way, you missed the podcast today. I said, Hey, don't I didn't miss nothing. <laughs> I said, They didn't call me. I said, If they don't call me, I ain't gonna be there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Looking at you. Right, that's why this works, boys. That's so, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all start calling hey. me, too. Well, well it was called funny. and Martin Y'all call me. Let him sleep. Yeah. I, we'll no, just no, no. come back. I said, no, I said, don't wake him up. No, no, because she said, you know, and because Martin called me and said, uh, about 15 minutes till, and said, he ain't, he ain't. And he ain't she said, no, me. he's asleep. I said, let and him he sleep. Said, hey, don't even wake him up. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, ain't no big deal. <laughs> Man needs a nap. Yeah, I he's mean, been I'm, doing it every day for the last yeah. seventy-two well, years. Well, I was. Hey, look, I've done that in a twenty-four-year career <laughs> in the military. <laughs>
And it, he was a professional uh, nap taker. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, you have not, you do not understand how many people I had pissed off when I could get an hour nap. <laughs> uh, the oh. whole unit was pissed off at me the whole time I was there. <laughs> Well, always, I thought it. I always got a nap. Well, I thought it was you first when I called yesterday, because as soon as the phone rang the first time, bomb, <laughs> somebody hung up on me. I said, "Yeah, I, I said that cheap he sucker. I said that cheap sucker done cancel caller ID again. How am I ever gonna get through? No, no, I, I, I fixed to teach robo callers. <laughs> you ain't getting through to me, Jack. And neither is anyone else. And there ain't uh, nobody else. Oh, so I, the other day, I don't even remember who it was now, but anyway. Oh, yeah, no, it was, it was Christine. <laughs> <laughs> she called you and you are going to vote? No, no, I, I was just fixing to hit the button, and I said, wait a minute, something's familiar, but I better let me say, hello. She said, hey, you're supposed to be up in the, up in the duck around. I said, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> almost hung up I on said, his I said, I was just fixing to push the dead button on you, baby. I just knew it was you. And I said, <laughs> oh, man, he saw a caller ID, and now he remember he coming up yeah. here. So I gave it about five minutes. And I called back, and Christine said, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. I said, hello. I said, I said, I got one question. Is Si asleep? She said, yep. I said, don't wake him up. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, moving on. No big deal. Like, So at least you got some respect from us. But uh, on people we appreciate, I I guess in a roundabout way there, I appreciated the farmers, too. Thank you all for what you all did. Yep. Yep. I'm just trying farmers. to think of the people that don't ever get no, get no thanks. Look, I'll tell you right now, another one that gets – the food service people when you actually go out to eat thank goodness they're working you're yeah, right they got a job i told job. a person the other day thank you for serving me absolutely well no no, no no people no. all over hey. the country ain't working yeah it don't hey, make no now, sense nowadays employees deserve appreciation yeah if you go to work Not enough of them yeah thank if you, you go yeah. to work today we yeah. appreciate you yeah thank you. guys and as a somebody. guy who runs a company for his employees to show up every day thank you the whole crew here, Jackie Hilburn, that includes you. I, I'm thankful for you, right. son. Like, yeah. I mean, but it's it's just something. Ralph called in sick today. Well, maybe he was sick. <laughs> well, no, no. I don't know what's 75 today. He may have uh, been out there dipping yeah. his cricket hey. in the water. You got yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty bad, okay, it's when they don't know if their work workforce is going to come in today or not. Oh, I know. Mm. Everybody that folks, we work with. There's a lot of them out there that, hey, they have no idea if they're coming in today Bruh, or not. I got a dude. He's a local business owner. I won't say the name of the business. It's a great business. He runs a, uh, he runs a great business. It's awesome. But he's paying people $20 an hour. What's his name? Just to show up. Twenty dollars an hour. What's he do? Yeah. And they still don't show up. Can they I do, side hustle? They do just anything with that? I may need a side hustle now. Who is it? You know how to change a tire? No, I ain't very good at that. No, I am good at changing a tire. I just don't want to change other people. <laughs> I don't mind changing them all day. I don't mind picking up mine, but these, these folks around here got big tires now. I hurt my back. No, I was going to say, yeah. It's my tire, man. He was like, I, I'm trying to pay people out the way. $20 dude. an hour change tires. I was like, man, when I was – well, I was in college. I was five fifteen. Well, I'd, I'd probably and do it. And they'd fire you if you just were thirty minutes late. I'd do it for fifteen dollars because I'd keep them lids off the old tires and take them home, melt them down, make jig heads. Yeah. So <laughs> jig heads. Hey, it's good. It's good lead. That's mm. what it's good soft lead. That or roofing jacks. Keep that I in look mind. at that and it just blows your mind, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. I used to, you know, I pushed a mower, lawnmower, when I was in high school. Yeah. No five enough. acres for five dollars. Dollar Five an acre. acres. And look what it did to you. Not your a life. lot. Not a lot. Go, Si. Tell us yeah. about it. Oh, How no. big's yeah, five I, acres? I, I, five acres? How many cans of gas do you go through in that oh, push mower to do about? that? Hey. Because a push mower get about 72 miles to the gallon. Yeah, so if you <laughs> a yard and a half, yeah. <laughs> unless you're mowing Miss Owens' yard, look, dude. and and because it and, had that look, big field, we played football. And the old woman that I, that I did it for. She was always grabbing the five dollars was too much. Too high. Yeah. It was too high. And I said, you no. couldn't fill up a push mower these days. No. For not for five dollars. Yeah. Not not if you got a mix of gas. No, you in trouble. But well, I look, I look, you know, twenty bucks an hour. For and, tar. And, Could you and imagine? Look, and he's got he's got jobs that are empty. Yeah. yeah. And people are saying, Well, I can't find a job. Yeah. No, you ain't looking. You ain't looking. <laughs> no, this guy, he ain't lazy. No. 
If you look in the pay rent, hey, if you, you say can find you a can't job find a job somewhere, hey, I got, I got, uh, you're, you're, uh, what I describe you as starts with an L. Lazy. Loser. Loser. No, liar. Liar. <laughs> I think hey. they all are, I think they all yeah. fit, though. You can no, always, I'm just saying, hey, hey, you look hey at, I'm telling you, what you looking there for. Are, are so many businesses out there right now that have vacancies. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Brandon, this section for you. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Hey, I cooked some of that pork, pork last night, them pork chops. Boneless pork chop. Did you? Ones. I still got I still Thick. got two of them in my freezer. I ain't cooked yet. I'll, I'll take I'll, them if you don't want them. No, you ain't getting them now. Hey. Cause yeah, I put not. them suckers on the grill last night and they was good. So. Was it? How'd you? Yeah, cook them? they're legit. How'd you cook them? I put I got some of this stuff. I don't know what it's called. It's kind of like remember I told you about it that balsamic no. hickory stuff. No, you're out. And, balsamic. And you put it on there. But that's you don't vinegar. taste it because I don't like it by itself. Yeah. Hey, that's and vinegar. then I put some uh, some pork. pork. Uh, you put balsamic pork. vinegar on pork? It's a hickory smoke. It's black. Whatever this, It might not be balsamic. I don't oh, it know is. what it is. It's yeah. it's but it's look, it. you know the beautiful part about it, though, is when you're eating moink, you ain't even got to do all that. You know why? Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Because they're grass-fed, yeah. grass-finished, yeah. beef lamb, pastured pork, and chicken, sustainable wild-caught Alaskan salmon, and it all comes straight to your door. So when you get rid of all the junk that the grocery store puts in there, you ain't got to have a whole lot of stuff added to it. But I, I am with you Let me you tell now. you, they're tender. I love a tender. pork chop. Golly, I love a pork chop. Moink farmers farm like our grandparents did, and as a result, moink meat tastes like it should because the family farm just simply does it better. The moink difference is a difference you can taste, and you can feel good knowing you're helping family farms stay financially independent too. You can choose the meat delivered in every box like ribeyes to chicken breast. With a handle. To poke chops. To salmon fillets if you're into pink fish. And much more. Plus, you can cancel any time. I have yet to find anything I didn't, didn't like. I didn't like that come in those things. Now, there were some things that I was a little suspect of, but curiosity got the best of me. There, I, I got some uh, some kind of bratwurst, too, that I had never heard oh, of. That, that was fantastic. Was, it was. It was, yeah. it was so good. But I'd have, never, I'd have never just bought it, so I'm glad uh-uh. that it was put in my box for me. That's the cool thing about yeah. it. Them, them run low quick. Yeah. <laughs> Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's Bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted. And Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Siminoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. They guarantee you're going to say, oink, oink, I'm just so happy I got Moink. Moink. It, Moink. And, and we think you're going to say the same thing. Keep American farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash duck right now. And listeners of this show get free filet mignon for a year. What? How about that? Just That's Did one year enough? of the a best fee. filet mignon you'll Ooh, ever wow. taste, yeah. but for a limited time, spelled M-O-I-N-K box dot com slash duck. That's moink box dot com slash duck. We're going to appreciate the fans. We're going to have a little Two section and a half, if you section will. Section and a half in the, in the, of the inbox. All right. In this first inbox. one, we're going to go quick on well, this Hold on. One. Hello at duckcallroom.com, just so we don't get asked. Email that me, is baby. The email address email if you've got things to say. But what's in there, Johnny? All man? right, this is a two parter. First man that emailed in is named Jordan from Oklahoma. Jordan is living my life, and it's freaking me out. He's living your life? He's 32 what? years old. What what part of Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Owns a tackle shop? No, no not, that, that, not oh. that close. What, uh, what part of Oklahoma? I don't know, just Oklahoma, regular okay. part. Good country. Good country. Good country. Um, I got a lot of friends. So look, Oklahoma. he's 32. He's been married for 10 years. I've been married 11. He has, an eight, is. he has an eight and a four and a two-year-old. I have a seven, five, and three-year-old. No, I do not want to babysit him. And he has oh. a 13-year-old basset hound. So me and this guy are just a lot of life. Oh, y'all are living parallel. <laughs> I know. That's no. what, yeah. So I unfortunately, know. though, his dog just passed away. And I, I, that, I emailed him back. I'm like, I'm pretty sure any day we're going to be feeling the same sadness. Um, so that's Jordan from Oklahoma. Then that goes with another good question from Easton, which I thought we were going to be in agreement on the other day, Martin, and we're not. What's that? Easton asks, do dogs go to heaven? Absolutely. Yeah, Have you not, not seen the movie? 
That's a cartoon. It doesn't matter. All dogs go to heaven, son. Not, yeah. First off, what about a bad dog? He go up there, too. Jesus loves dogs. Yeah. He's got to. Everybody Now, cats, I, ain't, uh, I don't know about them. <laughs> yeah, see, they, they do that. They do stuff hey, like sweet that. Sweet peas out. <laughs> well, I'm not saying all cats is out, but most of them yeah. is mischievous. Sweet peas gone. My yeah. dog ain't making it to heaven. Oh, he if I have too. to give it as long as he ain't got to climb. Things he has done, no, he's not making it. As long as yeah. he ain't got to climb the stairs, he'll get there. You know, I've thought <laughs> about <laughs> that before. I've thought, I often thought, really, I said, but really. Will it be? And I think there's going to be things in heaven that we enjoy. Well, absolutely. So why wouldn't they be there? But I, but it'll be like a dog with wings. Like that's fine. Angel. But I don't think your dog's going to go to heaven. They ain't going to gnaw the <laughs> Me and Martin about no to more. Oh, right. you're going to be there, huh? <laughs> they ain't going to gnaw the furniture no more. Well, no, it's made of gold. Right. They hurt their teeth. There ain't no wood up there. Teeth, boys. Yeah. I reckon so. I mean, how else is that grass going to be so green? Gate. Son, look at all that fertilizer they're going to have. Think of all the stuff they got up there. Dogs, horses. Now, if ducks is I up know there, we're going to eat. If ducks is See, up that's there. that's what I'm saying. So, like, are you go, there's going to be a duck walks up to you one day. He's like, hey, bro. And I'm, why'd you trick me? And I'm going to say, did you says, see Why do you taste video? so good? Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't taste so good, you wouldn't have got here so quick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you'd have just been a little smarter, you'd have been there a little bit longer. But. I mean, yeah, there's gonna be ducks. But hey, you might. I, I think there will be creatures. I don't know that the animals when they die here are going to. Well, not. You can believe what I you want to believe, but my dog going to heaven. I'm gonna who see that sucker again when I get there. Dogs. Hey, who says they? I think they're, they're, hey, I think the, they're there. Hey, out of all the out of all the things on this world that haven't disobeyed the order of things. My dog disobeys the order of things every day. Absolutely not. He's a dog. <laughs> He's a dog. Has he sinned against you? Very often. No. That's oh. just because you punish his behavior. That don't mean yeah, he sinned right. against you. That's right. He hasn't wanted anything right. he wanted except for maybe your hot dog. Did he love you? He didn't un- covet. Did he, he don't know uh, what the did law is. Did he love is. you unconditionally? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Hey. He's well, maybe there. Dublin will hey. be in Look, there's a chance there ain't a human up there. <laughs> and all the dogs are going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a greater chance of that. What's that? Huh? That the dogs and all the animals kept everything right, and we down here screwing everything up. I will agree with that. <laughs> you have won me up. It takes a big man to admit when he was wrong, and today I am that I man. I love it. Uh, there is a greater chance of yeah. all the animals being like, boy, you shouldn't have put those two people with us. They yeah. had a good thing going in that garden until they showed up. Uh, and That they, won me over. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Look, you just got to believe in your argument. I bu- no, I mean, there's gonna be fish fries in heaven. Maybe. Well, what about the fish? Now they did. That's the, you ever read the back end of Luke? <laughs> he took it and broiled it. Jesus ate fish after. Hey, he look, it. yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be that's fish manna from there's heaven. There's gonna be fish fries in heaven. Amen. Right. Jason made that. John, read it in John. Fish fry. Well, they, you know, after they killed him after and Peter went fishing, was, hey, you boys got anything seen that eat? fire on the bank. You know what? You know what my sign at the store says? What? Jesus ate fish. Be like Jesus. That's right. That's right. Amen to that. That's, right. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Fishers of men and fishers. Well, now that we fish. got that great debate settled, I would be interested for the fans. Do y'all think dogs go to heaven? I look. I'm curious. I'm not a dog person. Now, I have one and I love him, but it's like, eh. That's because you I, got three kids take your time. As soon as they grow on and gone, you're gonna get you another hound. I, I think that's one of them things is you're gonna be really shocked. At what all's there? That's what all yeah. is there. That's going to be yeah. part of the amazement. <laughs> no, Amen. No, no. I don't know. Well, Rocco so, definitely ain't so going to Heaven's going to be awesome. You're walk around one of them corners of that streets of gold and stuff in the stomach. But I am going to feel low-key judged stomach. if there's a bunch of mallards up there. Right. They're they going to be eyeballing I know, you I know how they got there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you sent plenty of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. A, that's an interesting I one. Like we missed it. something, boys. Well, let's take a break. Hold on. We'll get in it right after we get back. These come in. Yep. What they are is they're handmade wallets. Yep. And the man that made them is Bob. Oh, Bob, Bob. Hey, you were talking about your workmanship, son. Hey, if you ain't been doing it for about eight months, I think it's pretty good myself. Jerry's got what mine's got on. Hey, I tried that when I was in high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mine. Well, they got eagles. Yeah. Turkey. They got a turkey. I got. I got uh, two forty-five uh, pistols. Magnet. I got, got two rifles, and I got uh, two eagles. 
Yeah, two pistols. I've got a turkey. Ducks. A, a trout. Got a big old buck deer on it. Buck deer on it. You got four geese. Got a cross they look, on it. They look like speckled hands. Bellies. They look like speckled bellies. But, Bob, here's the problem. <sighs> Mine didn't come with no money in it. Yeah. Hey, I did know. Mine, mine come empty, Yeah, Bob. mine's a little light, Bob. Yeah, go Bob. You said, Bobby! You sent a wallet true to form Bob. to me. That that's like hey, Bob. got nothing hey, in it. Bob, Bob said, hey, fellas, I made you a wallet to carry it. You yeah. didn't expect me to fill it up, did you? Well, I was well, Bob, making... it would have been a nice gesture if you'd have put a little green in it. <laughs> <laughs> but we appreciate you uh, making them for us. Amen. Man. Thank you, Bob. Absolutely. Bob, you the appreciate man. Appreciate it. Johnny D, what else in that inbox? I'm deep in the Bible solving our uh, last. Uh, hey, our Bible last. solving. Well, He's solving a problem. I'm solving our last segment, and I'm just in the wrong for sure now. Okay, first off, there's a girl, and she works with another girl, and they always work together, and they always listen to our podcasts. Their names are Reagan and Caroline. This Reagan one's and Caroline. Caroline always emails in. Reagan never does, and uh, they email a lot of stuff. She's shy. But Reagan has to tell Caroline something, and she's not going to tell her, and I'm going to tell her. Well, Caroline, let me Reagan. Tell both of them something. Hold, Hold on. on. Hey, send a picture. Well, uh-oh. Hey, I want to see what you guys look like, boys. <laughs> All right, sir. But uh, Reagan is pregnant. That's why she's been uh -oh. getting sick at work in the morning. Boom! Mind blown! Wait, hold on. Time out. Yeah, she's, I just announced the girl's pregnancy to her best friend. I've always wanted oh, to Oh, to that. her best friend. And co-worker. Okay. Yeah. So they're they working right now, and they're like, wait, you're pregnant? She keeps she's giving like, her Pepto-Bismol, uh, don't yep. she? Yeah. But it's an awesome story because they've been trying for a super long time. That's awesome. Praying and praying and praying, done in vitro and all that stuff. And boom. They're pregnant. They're pregnant. We're so here. So congratulations, Reagan. Caroline, pick your job up off the ground. And that was kind of fun, I'm guessing. That's right. That's right. Congratulations. Um, go buy her something. I got a question. Do we know what we're going to have yet? Well, no. No, no but she said well, she's hey, not I'm just, naming yeah, the she, she might. You not, open not your if Christmas she's still present. in that sickness phase. Well, okay. Here's the deal. That's the only. The only Congratulations, darling. She, the only thing she wants you to know is. Mom she's, in about nine months. She's not naming that baby Jason Silas. Praise God. Well, I don't blame her. I wouldn't name Jason Silas. I wouldn't name a girl that either. <laughs> Me either. Me either. <laughs> All right, and now on to the next one. Uh, Where is this person's uh, name? I don't know. You can call me Sharpie. Sharpie? All right, Sharpie. He's 16. He's from Sutton's Bay, Michigan. Michigan. Ooh, I'm facing to go to Floyd, Michigan. Uh, Sutton Bay. Sutton's Bay, that's where he's at. And he's in a love triangle, boys, and uh -oh. he needs uh -oh. advice. Uh -oh. Here's the uh -oh. thing. He joined a youth group at church. He's going to be honest. The reason he joined it? girl was hot he called her beautiful if you're listening he said beautiful uh and he kind of just joined up to meet her specifically but god has a funny way of working things out i like his style he's I'm uncomfortable no, I, oh, I like his but, style. no we're so talking now, about a love triangle in church oh yeah no, hey. wait for it wait for it okay no, well i love triangles a hard word okay. uh, there might not even be she might not like either of them oh. so here's the deal so he's found a bunch of friends he's gotten involved with the youth group he loves the youth group he loves going to church it's awesome but he's got a crush on the girl still. Uh-oh, I just made his new friend. He's got a crush on the girl. Same girl? Same girl. Bad news. They're friends. Uh, uh, bad news. Everybody knows what's Friendship going on. Friendship ain't going to last long, boys. Which one of you's bigger? Ugh. Hey. So he values all the new friendships, uh, but he doesn't know how to go about the manner. Since he likes her, he likes her. I don't know who she likes, which is a very important part of the That's equation. Right. I'm going to tell you something. That, that my granddad told me. Uh, uh oh, his granddad's. It's time to either poop or get off the pot. Oh boy! <laughs> but that's where you at. That's where you at, son. That's where you at. So he's a, he doesn't that's know that's like that's the that's worst that's thing she is going to say is no. Is no. But he doesn't want to go after her and then hurt his friends' feelings. Well, hey, you well, gotta make up your mind. You can't let that go on after his friend is. is. You can't yeah. be wishy washy. Well, it what's going to happen is both of you are going to be over there so timid and shy. Ain't neither one of you going to get her. Then y'all can talk about the one that got Nobody away like a dead gum fishing trip. And go away with and it. Some guy's right. going to walk in and say, hey, you want to go get a pizza That's right, baby. You want to yeah. go pizza And she's going to laugh. If two guys in the same youth group got a crush on the same girl, first of all, there's got to be a bigger town closer to you. That's right. <laughs> More girls. Uh, yeah, I mean. More girls. There's, More there's, fish in the sea, boys. He but wants if, to give up. You're not giving up. But if Sharpie, that's, Don't if that's the up. one. Sharpie, go, son. All right, Sharpie, I got an example. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There was a young girl named Allison in the youth group. 
Uh oh. I had three kids with her. Right. Much he later in life. I married the woman, but I had a very good friend who liked her too. But I knew she liked me. Short story, he don't talk to that friend no more, but, he got, the, but he got the girl. That's so. not the short story. That's... But I did call my friend and said, here's the deal. I didn't ask for permission or anything like that. I said, this is going to happen. I would like us to still be friends because, yeah. but you I'm just letting you know, you me and old on. girl going to get married and have a happy life 10 years, three kids later. And me and that dude are still friends. He lives in a different town now, but it not, he was like, you know what? It's okay. Yeah, you're running out of town. You might fine. think it's a bigger deal than it really is. And if you're just up front and have open and honest communication, which is Martin's favorite line. I love it. Probably way easier than you think. Uh, communication is the key to success, boys. But I wouldn't talk to him. Not till after the deed. Yeah. Right. Not the deed. Don't, don't give away your game plan. Yeah. Once you know she's into you, just go say, hey, man, here's the deal. Yeah. I want to still be your buddy, but I'm also going to date your girl. Yeah. Because she's my girl. And it's hashtag make out Monday, as Johnny D likes to call it. Here's the next one. Uh, Carissa. Carissa. 30-year-old woman. I'm in a youth group at church, and I got these two boys that like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like either of them. No, that's not true. Come on, Sharpie. We're rooting for you. And the one I like has got a boyfriend or the girlfriend already. Like, shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> youth love triangles. They're great. All right. She's, this is a single 30-year-old woman who works at a child development center. Hey, another appreciation. Absolutely. Thank you. People that Take work with kids. Okay. Love it. That's awesome. Love. Uh, she discovered our podcast back in October. Y'all are awesome and hilarious. By the way, size my favorite. Lady, we already knew that. You didn't Mine too. Uh, here's her question. How do you come up with things to talk about on your podcast, and do you ever run out of ideas? No, we just nope. sit down uh, and start talking. Uh, nope. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we... Sometimes are a little longer. I mean, sometimes we go off script. Oh, this is not a script, by the way. I, yeah, this is, this is typically joke. nothing. Yeah, no, we sit Get down. Get on that morning box. We, hey. <laughs> we sit down and start morning talking. Box. Okay, we're well, bacon. Yeah, we literally yeah. just sit down and start. Like, every no, no, once in no. a while, I'll text Martin and say, you hey, I got understand. A I've got a lot of shorts going on in my head. Lexical shorts. Oh, thank okay, God. And hey, whenever it, <laughs> hey, that, that brings up something. All right, I got two Bible verses. All right, hit it. Which hit one it. do you want? Do you Let's want... Go. I want both of them. Animals in heaven, or do you want Jesus eating fish? Luke 24. I want there you go. go Luke 24. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they did not, and while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, hey, you got anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled crappy. fish. <laughs> oh, crappy. They gave him a piece of mustard fried Dorito sour cream crappie, right. and he took it and ate it in their presence. Yes, sir. Jesus ate fish, and I'm doing the other one real fast just because I'm, my mind's blown. Isaiah 11.6, this whole chapter is kind of a picture of heaven. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the battling together and a little child shall lead them we're gonna be playing with animals in heaven whoa, whoa. and Zy gonna get a black panther to follow it. everywhere it goes oh, hell, black panther. no he'll be riding that sucker all right we'll see y'all next time right here <laughs>